Hi, this is Christina with Caldwell Banker. We're here today with Joe Getz, president of the Kent County School Board. Joe, what are the benefits to having your children attend Kent County Schools? Well, Christina, thank you first of all for having me here. This is just a great opportunity for myself to really reach out to those that are looking to, to um, reside here in Kent County and talk about the greatness of what we have here. Uh, truly a resource. You know, we've got five schools here in Kent County, uh, three elementary schools, one middle school, one high school, that they just really do a great job of focusing on students and their success. You know, we have a set of core values here in Kent County in our public schools that we abide by from the administration, the Board of Education, all the way down to the students. And we really expect that our students thrive and become better leaders in the community here, but also in the world abroad. Our teachers in Kent County are highly trained professionals. We have an average uh, years of service of 17.7 years. We have seasoned veterans um, that work alongside and mentor some of our newer teachers. And really it's to benefit the students. There's a nice community aspect in our schools and a nice family aspect where there's a lot of professional development. There's a lot of opportunity for students to thrive. Um, there are a lot of opportunities for teachers to collaborate and work well with the administration. Uh, some of the other aspects of, of Kent County Public Schools that we're really proud of uh, really goes down to our students. Our students are the center of what we do. They're the center of, of why we try to strive to be the very best. Um, a few examples that we try to encourage with our students is, is active uh, members in the community. We look for community service with our students. They're required to perform 75 hours of community service uh, in their time with Kent County Public Schools. Uh, this starts at fifth grade, so we start them young in the elementary, elementary schools. Um, and these, this process really looks at community service for cleaning, uh, parks or, or, or um, polluted stream, whatever it may be, they're really active out there. We also encourage leadership. Um, at the middle school, for example, we have students that are part of the, the advisory uh, council to the, to the principal. We have 30 to 40 students that are selected to also work with kids and work with those adults and kind of be those advisors for, for the staff. Uh, we also encourage learning outside of the classroom. So we have partners in the, in the um, uh, community, like the Sultana Education Foundation, as well as the Eastern Shore Land Conservancy. This really gives a lot of opportunity for our students to learn um, environmental issues, to also learn in a different way. We're so glad to have those partners available to us. Um, from the high school level, we also have Washington College and Chesapeake College who are partnered with us, uh, with our students to, be, uh, to have dual enrollment, um, to also earn credits for colleges um, that they can take with them. So this community as a whole it really partners with us, with the schools, to be better. We have a great core of volunteers here in, in the county that, that go above and beyond, whether it's Homework Depot or whether it's tutoring for SATs and, and just a really, just a great community aspect of folks that really reach out and help and, and support what we're trying to do as a school system. Uh, we also have uh, in the high school, for example, we have great programs available for, for those students that excel in academics. Uh, we also, we have 78% of our class that successfully went on to college. We also have a vibrant um, uh, CTE program, which is the Career Technology Education Program at the high school. Uh, in that, we have nine different pathways where students can actually go into, whether it's media and broadcasting, or whether it's agriculture, it could also be culinary art, pre-engineering, automotive, a lot of great programs for students with different backgrounds that look to engage in the community that they're in, whether it's here or abroad. Some of the other um, great opportunities or, or advantages that we have is that Kent County Public Schools also promotes a very healthy lifestyle. We encourage our parents through PTAs and volunteers to, to have input as to what we do. For example, at the elementary school, there may be um, early morning activities before school, a walking program or something like that. We really try to get the essence of a family uh, with our schools. And I think at the end of the day, that's really important for, for our success and for our student success, as well as all of the academic support that we have in the various positions um, throughout the school system. We also focus on those students that are in need. Uh, we have a great program for, for um, support um, in all of our schools. Uh, we have social workers in the schools. We have guidance counselors. We have folks that are there for students um, that might need a little bit more assistance. 
um, in how they, how they go about their day. Um, as we all know as adults, we all have stresses and it's very important for students to receive all of those supports as well. Um, and so we have all of that support and we're very proud of, of what we have there. Some of the other aspects of Kent County Public Schools, it's really great, is students at a very young age have an opportunity to begin learning in the arts. We have some great folks in the community also that help us. Um, that could be the Kent County Arts Council or the Arts in Motion, uh, where they learn pottery and glass blowing, or we have folks that partner and teach music and, and really get these students involved. And that starts at a young age all the way through. And we're just proud of all of those programs and, and so thankful for the volunteers in the system uh, and here in the community that we have. You know, our school system is small. Uh, we are the smallest in the state of Maryland. We have approximately 2,000 students. Um, we certainly uh, take pride in who we are, but we, we function and we actually work as a large school system and are very successful in, in what, we, what we have for our kids and what are available. I would be remiss to also say um, and thank uh, uh, many of the folks that, that we have and, and kind of really, really put a, an emphasis on the volunteers that we have. We have from our parents, uh, whether PTA groups or if there are other folks that, that are around, just the support that we have is just fantastic. Um, I am a parent of um, two Kent County Public School students, uh, one that just recently graduated and went to college and one that's just entering high school. Um, I am very, very happy and very satisfied in their education and what they've received. We have students that prepare and, and head out into the world and, and they go to schools like UCLA and Columbia University and, and Brown and other schools and, and, it, and it goes, it's just endless at the possibilities. You know, we have support for students that are uh, entering the armed services. We have a lot of great chances for, for these kids. Um, I, I just feel it's a fantastic place to live. Um, it's gorgeous and, and you know, certainly folks that like yourself that have the opportunity to sell homes and just to live here in Kent County is just fantastic um, you know, and I'm really pleased to be a part of it. Thank you, Joe, for coming out today and giving us yet another reason to live in Kent County. Christina, it's been my pleasure to be here. Um, I'm certainly so proud of our schools. Um, if there, you have any questions or further questions for me, uh, once again, my name is Joe Getz and I can be reached at jgetz at kent.k12.md.us.